Hey guys, how you guys all doing? I am doing amazing. It is disgustingly hot right now, but I'm excited because I was going through some of my old footage and I found my Payson one through four and some extra footage. And I really just want to re-upload. Um, that's basically what's gonna happen. Is I'm gonna re-upload my one through four uh, in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna do one every Thursday for the next four weeks. And it's not just so I can re-upload it. I want to be able to share with you one of my favorite favorite motorcycle camping experiences. And basically for the people that joined recently to watch me moto camp, this is what I used to do all the time before I decided to just not go out of town on the bike. So I hope you guys like it. So today and the next three Thursdays after this, I will be having a throwback Thursday pace and camping video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Figured I'd start the uh, moto vlog here. Uh, I'm on my way to Payson. Currently in uh, Dateland. Get out of this way. Currently in Dateland. Uh, just to top it off and check out my bag. It's about 60 miles outside my next stop. And about 60 miles from where I started. Oh, my back is already starting to cramp. Um, yeah, I haven't really been doing much moto vlogging, much uh, working out stuff lately. I'm slacking on that, so I'm gonna start, you know, jumping back in there. But right now this is what it looks like. Uh, I got all my camping stuff in this bag. It's my backpack and backpack. That's pretty much empty. Uh, I'm gonna fill it up with some, some food stuff and pacing. And all my clothes are in here. Um, I don't wanna take up too much room. This guy probably needs to use this gas. So I'll see you guys uh, either in Gila Bend or in Phoenix. <sighs> What's up guys? Currently in Maricopa. Um, little Circle K. Oh shit. Uh, a little Circle K uh, Maricopa before Phoenix. Got about, I think 40 miles, 45 miles away from Phoenix. Um, and I'm staying with my grandma, so she's in the southern part of Phoenix. So that's where I'll be. Um, I didn't record anything in Gila Bend. I was just, the heat, man. It's like 90, at least 95. I'm gonna probably call it 100. And I am just, I am dying. And uh, I'm just filling up every, every 50 to 80 miles even though I can go uh, at least 120 before I have to start getting worried um, I'm doing this for one or two things first you know I don't have to worry about gas and fuel um, another reason is that uh, every time I stop for about 50 miles uh, I check my gear and so far the netting and the way I have it set up is, is working pretty good um, one of my biggest fears is that one of the straps will come down and get wrapped up in the in the belt and caused me some issues. I didn't spill anything, but I like to kind of clean this part off for the the tank bag where it touches. <sighs> yeah, I'm sweating like a pig right now. Oh, even with this mess jacket. Oh. Hey, in Phoenix right now, I'm not gonna turn on the Hero 3. Not too concerned about that. This is not very exciting up here. Listening to the GPS right now, I'm gonna head out to REI and get some more stuff. All right, I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, no, Thank you. <sighs> All right. Uh, I didn't record too much. This store is pretty, pretty bland. Uh, at least this one is. Probably gonna swing by the REI uh, Paradise Valley. I was debating whether or not getting a sleeping pad. Um, so I did get a hammock here. I just paid for one. Uh, if that works out, I won't need a sleeping pad, but if it doesn't, it's gonna be a miserable sleep. <sighs> the good sleeping pads cost so much though. I've already spent quite a bit on just gear for this trip. Whatever. Time to get some Chipotle. 